So welcome back. This is Rowan's third ride so far. He had been very stressed out before this ride due to one of the horses in the paddocks beside where this round pin was. He was very protective of his mares and kept coming after Rowan, even though Rowan really didn't want anything to do with him. It was eventful, but we did end up moving the horse because I didn't want to die. <laughs> So I was very nervous that Rowan was going to be too stressed out and too ice strung to have a good ride today, but it ended up not being a problem. We tried to do a couple of different things with camera angles, so there will be a couple of different angles in this video. And he'd already been running around and playing, so I wasn't super worried about giving him a good warm up. So we kind of just jumped right into stuff. So I started tracking to the right for our first little while because I really wanted to work on his right side since he had been having so many issues. We kept getting stuck at this one little spot over here, pretty much right in front of the camera, where it was just a little muddy. It wasn't slick. It was just like their feet squished into it just a little bit. So that was annoying for the majority of the ride, but it was something we could easily work past. He was very balanced and calm by the time that I was getting on him to ride. He was doing very good. So like I said, there'll be a couple of different camera angles throughout the ride, but just bear with it. We're trying to figure out what's easiest and what's best to capture everything without having our constant attention on the camera. So uh, we decided to pick up Trot a little bit pretty quickly. Um, and he was doing really well in the round pen. And he was trotting pretty nicely. He was a bit counter bent to the left, but that is to be expected. And we just did a couple of trots just to get going. He felt absolutely fantastic for this ride. He was very much calm and collected, which is not what I was expecting getting on. And he was really listening to what I was saying and asking of him. The majority of this ride, my original goal was just to do as much work to the right as possible to try to get him past the whole, I hate being on the right rein. I don't want to go in that direction. I don't want to do that. And he did eventually, after the first couple minutes, get really soft. And he was like, okay, we can go to the right. Going to the right is fine. We still had a little bit of a counter bend over to the left, but I wasn't mad at it because he was giving me forward movement and really trying and being really good about it. The mares that were on the other side of the gate right there, they were really trying to check Rowan out and Rowan after having to deal with that gelding was like, Oh my God, are these guys going to kill me too? And so he kept stopping at them. I didn't mind that because he was just checking them out. He was never nasty. He was never mean up until one point. He was just like, Oh my God, they're there. You'll see Martini. She's coming around just to say hi and hang out and figure out what's going on. Martini says, hello, I'm going to check this out now. Thank you. She's fine. I can't have the helmet. I will go into the corner then. I'm going to check this out. Rowan didn't seem to mind. He was just like, mm, okay, why is she over there? Why is she bothering me? Still listening to what I was saying, doing pretty good.
So you can see him looking at her there. He's like, oh, man, I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it. But Martini listens very well. So he asked her to leave. And she was like, okay, bye, guys. I'm just doing a whole lot of trot work for the first part of this ride. And I was very proud of him for how well he was moving, even being so stressed out with that gelding being very aggressive. You can see the longer we do this, the softer his ride is. He's kind of calming down a little bit. He's like, all right, we, I know what we're doing now. He's not necessarily bending to the inside, but he's going on a more straight path with his body rather than counterbending to the left so much. Always lots of praise and lots of reward every time he's given me something that I'm asking for, especially when I know he doesn't want to do it. So now we're going to do it in the other direction. Now that I know that he's okay with his right side we're going to go and track to the left and do the same thing We pick up Trot, and he's bending a little bit more to the left, which is good and is to be expected, but not too much. He still kept a pretty straight head on him, which I wasn't upset about. We'll work on bending more later. I want to say hello to Jameson. He's decided that the grass over here is better than where it was before. And like I said, we did a couple different camera angles and different things. So just bear with us. And you see him watching the mirrors. He's like, man, I don't know. I don't like those. And you can see where that muddy spot is. It's really not very slick. It was just deep and he didn't like it. I did my best to avoid it as much as possible, but we did our best. You can see this really nice trot that he's giving me. He's not putting too much effort into it, but he's also not being lazy about it. I was very, very happy with this trot. Lots of reward every time that he does something I want. At this point, I had said, hey, Miranda, you should probably hop on him now before I do anything else. So this is the clip of Miranda riding him for the first time. So he was a little bit more up for her, but she also rides with a much looser rein, which I'm not mad about. I always ride with a more snug rein. That's just my personal preference in the way that I ride horses. The way Miranda rides horses is not wrong or anything like that. It's just different, and Rowan seemed to appreciate it a little bit. He enjoyed the longer rein, so it's probably something I'm going to try to do more often. i got to have a little bit more trust in him than I probably do right now. But he was giving her a really nice walk. And so I told her whenever she's ready, she could try a little bit of trotting if she wanted to.
But of course, he had to stop in the mares because the mares were scary. He's like, man, I don't like those mares. So she just decided to uh, change directions, which is totally fine. He's doing good in both directions now, which is a major improvement to where he was before. So she decided to try to push him up into trot. She asked nice and slow, and he was like, all right, let's go. You can go. And she did confirm that it is a very, very, very smooth trot. She was having a hard time posting just like I was. But he's very good uh, about just being nice and balanced in his trot, which we really appreciate, both of us. And he did very well for her. He, again, got really sticky over in that corner over where the mud was. He's like, man, I don't want to go over there. We never figured out why. We just assume it was probably the mud. He decided he would try to go on the outside of it, which wasn't the smartest decision, but he decided that's what he wanted to do. So I hopped back on because I had decided that since he was being so good that day that we wanted to try to take our first canter together, which was probably the smartest decision that I've made so far, especially since I decided to do it in the round pen rather than out in the arena, because at least this is a contained space. He can only go so far and he has to balance up and he has to work on himself. I wasn't looking for anything specific in the canter besides the correct lead and that he was listening to me. I didn't care if it was collected or extended or anything like that, as long as it was just enough that we weren't running away again, having to stop by the mares. This is the one time that he decided to get a little rude to the mares. He pinned his ears as we went by, but he was not really nasty, nasty. He was just like, ah, can't do it anymore. So I got my control back a little bit and we decided to ask for a canter. I asked slowly expecting him to run off on me, but he actually held himself really well. And his canter is absolutely smooth as butter. It's just gorgeous. It's probably the smoothest canter I have ever ridden on any horse. And I have ridden a lot of horses at this point. It's just so collected and you hardly move. The only thing that we were having an issue with was he was trying to canter on a really small circle. So he kept bumping me forward a little bit. I wasn't mad about that. I just needed to hold myself a little bit better and try to pull him out to the rail a little bit more. But I was happy with what we were doing, so I didn't complain too much. He got a little fast there, and I just pulled him back to collect him. He was like, mm, I'm not going to do this. And so we waited and asked for the canner again. Again, I was hardly moving in that saddle. It was just... I like had to put forth the effort to move to help him along. 
instead of just sitting up there and writing it out. I had to try to help him out a bit. I was so proud of him for that canner. All those canners so far have been very, very good and not at all what I expected from him from what we've been doing in the past couple of rides. And I gave him lots of rewards for that. And I expected him to really be a bit hot after the canner, but he was just very calm tempered still. I was very impressed. So this would be his right lead. This is the one we were concerned was going to kind of go a little haywire and ruin the day, but it ended up being perfectly fine. It took us a second at first. He didn't really quite understand what we were doing. He was like, oh, all right, cool. I don't know where my feet are, but I, I'll figure it out. It was a little bit more bumpy in this direction, but still hardly anything. It was just very, very, very nice. And I was very proud of him for cantering in his off direction and cantering that well in his off direction. And that was it for our ride. We decided to stop it there because I was so proud of him and he did so good.